Live. My name is Andre. I'm Mikel. And uh, how's it going? We've actually been at this. We've been talking a bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quite, a, quite a bit over it, but it's okay. Uh, let's not retread any of this material because they're fresh. We're yeah. ready to see them pretty much play. They're done reviewing lists. Yeah. Uh, what have we got looking? So we have Dean on the left, and Dean is playing a Glacier. Uh, a Glacier Matimakunda deck, the second newest identity in Jinteki with a really potent ability. You can install ice during a run. Mm -hmm. uh, for no clicks, for no credits, it's the innermost ice, yes. and then they have to approach it, which right. is really good. Yeah, excellent. Once per turn, uh, and after the runner has already run through any Everything. exterior ice yes. that might be. And he sees there's actually some really interesting ice that, well, a lot of ice really works well with that. Mm. Uh, Sandstorm is kind of weird. Yeah, Have that's not, that? no, not really, actually. It's been working pretty well, uh, especially with a combination of uh, the fact that you have to double run the remote sometimes with a Nisa right. Mark 2 token. Yep. And then the Sandstorm puts them off the server. Yeah, back. You put that on the inside ice with uh -huh. the team of Kundo, and you then flip you them just out. Throw yeah. them out. That's quite, quite cool. Disgustingly yeah, good. Makes sense. There's also. So I don't actually know all the timing windows on it. I've heard about this. It's kind of a rumored thing that works. Sure. But Thimble Rig is a card that says whenever you pass it, you can swap it with another piece of ice. Yes. So if I'm not mistaken, what you can do is you can pass Thimble Rig, you can swap it with another piece of ice, and then fire some sort of nonsense with the code replicator. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah because they've already committed the it to going. Sorry? Just closer to the mic. Oh, perfect. I think I, we're too off the mic. How's oh, fair enough. Yeah. We're going to get really in here. Okay, yeah, I'm just jumping right in there. Um, so... Yeah, I guess because they're already past it and approaching it, like you yeah. can make some bad stuff happen. So you can like pull Nancy, any ice. Chiyashi, DNA Tracker. These are all devastating ice to have resolve on you. Yeah, um, it's super strong. Uh, Dean, I saw him one game earlier in the Swiss, and he just looks like he's going to jam double advance. This is like a crazy play in Netrunner now because obviously it could be the NGO front. Yes. Some people score agendas. Yeah. Even more so now, considering that this is MT McQuindu we're looking at. Yeah. Because... If he reses the NGO front and then pops a DNA tracker in Freedom's face, Anything. then he's, he's down on tempo real hard. And you know what? Actually, uh, Eric is going to pull the play on it. And this is going to be like, what, a 13 credit ice hit if he uses the NGO front? There it is. That's so nuts. 13 ice. What are we getting here? He has four cards in hand, yeah. two unused MU. It looks like it could just it's be the DNA, DNA tracker. tracker. Very Absolutely nice. brutal. Solid opening on Dean's end. He's going to peel three important and cards away. David. Ouch, it hurts. Losing all of his money as well. <laughs> he goes and swings his credits uh, yeah. off the board. Yep. An absolute brutal hit. And uh, on the plus, he got a counter. He did get that one counter. Mm. And now he can run Central's rather relatively safely, which sure. is pretty good. Yes. And he actually missed the diesel, the one card. Ah, very nice. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Eric has had worse at some points. Uh, you can totally see in hand, Eric there does have the employee strike. Employee strike is the best thing you want to play right there. Just for so sure. you can check for free. Yeah. And uh, he can trash anything with two cost or less. That's trashed for free if he bye wants. Bye. But the use of loses yeah. some counters. Mm -hmm. One of the most important things actually to look at is uh, the kind of barriers that Dean is running. Mm -hmm. We don't have the list just yet. We'll get him in front of it. I think he might be on just Kagugo. Okay. Uh, Chiyashi as well. Oh, and Chiyashi. Because yeah. his only breaker, I think he might not even have paperclip, is that Yusuf. Uh, and if you don't get counters, you yeah, can't be you locked can't out. Get, yeah, you can't get locked out. I guess Very he, true. He has virus breeding grounds, but yeah. at some point it could be an issue. Mm-hmm. Install single. There is that employee strike, of course. Looks like we're going to... Oh, Jumping uh, in, free look. I thought he was going to face tank the DNA. It's a hedge to... Oh, okay. And so, Eric, what he wants to do is put on a lot of central pressure. Because mm -hmm. every single run gets that use of counter. A very important use of counter. And he can trash things. If there's no ice in HQ, you don't have to worry about the ability. Right. A lot of his ice, though, is expensive. You do see Kakugo in hand. That's going to be at least four counters. Mm -hmm. The other ice, I think, is the quicksand or sandstorm? Or uh, sandstorm? Yeah, it looks like sandstorm to me. Yeah. Employee strike... Oh, how many? Okay. And we got to see what kind of console Eric is on. If he's on a turntable, it's kind of bad to rush out a five-pointer here, a three-pointer, excuse me. Mm -hmm. But in a world with there's clan vengeance going around, getting the three-pointer out of hand never feels terrible. Because mm -hmm. if that's going to burn a hole in the HQ, rest of the hand. yeah, sometimes uh, you're going to lose it. Yep. Looks like second sandstorm into just the NGO for eight. Uh, if he wants to jam, he wants to get his ice down now. He does know it's very important to understand that Dean has seen Eric's list, mm -hmm. so he's not scared of that rogue indexing. Sometimes right. he's going to be indexing. Uh, right, and just lose a game on the yeah. spot there. But because of that, Dean is playing a lot more confidently, uh, taking some time to try to ruse Eric into hitting the remotes and mm -hmm. making some bad decisions. Uh, employee strike is up now, so there's less uh, McQuindu shenanigans available to him. Yeah, now he's just playing the Honest Glacier game, which yep. I think on its own is still, it's re still really nice. good. Very sure. Um, Eric did draw into another David, which is huge, considering mm -hmm. we have the DNA tracker on the board. He has no way to recur it, I don't think. So I think once that David's gone, it's just like that's mm -hmm. all the Davids he has. He's low on cash at this point, though. So yeah. Dean is taking the time to get set up. Uh, 
potentially threaten some very devastating ice reses on Eric's face. Uh, with that said, though... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's hard to get value laundry. You might as well do that while the strike is up if you mm -hmm. don't want to access any legitimate cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he's. I th assume he's going to be on three liberated. So being at the five six credit point, that's kind of the magic number here. Right, exactly. It's, it's it would be too much of a tempo swing for him to take the time to credit up there. Yeah, that's a really good draw. There's not a lot of econ he can play there. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's had worse. Spending one. Draw three cards. Looking there. at he needs three. To find his engine. Uh, okay. No. Okay, no, he's still he's still kind of struggling here. He doesn't really have that much to go on. There's a same old thing out of hand and discarding a black orchestra. So black orchestra breaks the DNA for nine, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a very expensive break. You or you could eight. alternatively do six or... I think it's eight, eight damage. Yeah, eight and then the damage. Yeah, because you pay the two as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of lists not play DNA Chakra, take out the Kaminus. It's just kind of really rough into a Clan Vengeance. You right. don't want to give them tokens for free. Agreed. Uh, but I think actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Eric drew a Hippo. Uh, Which has a pretty good amount of value with the David. So there it is, liberated. And that's exactly what he needed yep. with the career fair. Getting yep. it down for only three credits. This is good. P both players still keeping a pace of each other. So there's one card that it's kind of hard to play around. I hope it's that. It's not. It's Rashida. But Dean is trying out the one copy of Lady Liberty. Oh, yeah. So what does Lady Liberty do? Lady Liberty is a new, it's a region asset, which is kind of a wild thing we haven't seen before. Hey, there you oh, are. there it is. Thank you. Um, you can, it gets power counters at the beginning of every turn. Uh -huh. And you can spend basically your entire turn, three clicks, ah. to add an agenda from uh, very HQ. Very cool glacier tool. Yeah. It's, I don't know if it's perfect in this deck list. Uh, the issue, like I've seen Dean use that card before to get Nisei scored for quote unquote Boy, free. free yeah. But you're not going to get the Nisei counter. No. Because you don't score oh, it. because you add yes. it to your agenda. Okay. So it's really good with agendas that don't have win scored abilities. It's also not going to turn off the employee strike. No, so sometimes you don't yeah, actually want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also scoring an Obakata it's for free. It's kind of nice, right? Kind of risk, nice. Basically risk free. Yeah. Mm. It's another thing to jam in the remote, which isn't terrible either. Mm -hmm. But it looks like the. both players are just kind of rearing for what they know is going to be a Glacier game. Yep. And something in their remote. I think there's one Philotic. There is one Philotic in the so list. Yes. So Never Advanced technically is a threat, and the scarcity is coming up. Bye-bye. <laughs> with a very yeah. rude toss there. Yes. Uh, these players are quite familiar with each other. Yeah. They're uh, Dean's ba body language is language of love. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the scarcity up, and this is going to keep Eric off. But he's already cleared off a Liberated. He's already installed the same old thing. He's, he's okay for now. There's no pressing needs here. Does he jam the Employee Strike again just to keep him off the I I don't think you do. I, don't, I really like, if you're not going to run, I don't think you play the Employee Strike. Sure. Um, I'm pretty sure Dean's on one copy of News Hound, maybe one or two. It's a really well-positioned ice against most Anarchs, paying like six uh, to A break bunch of money. With MKUltra, sure. yes. which is a lot. Mm -hmm. But he's icing up every central server, which is the best thing you want to do against Yusuf against Data Sucker, because you need to make sure that uh, Freedom does not have those virus counters to trash your good cards. Yep. Eric uh, drawing not so great and pulling a little bit behind now. His dirty laundry is now no longer risk-free, yeah. as Archives has just been freshly iced. So Dean has... Where did he get all that money? <laughs> like two uh, NGOs, Hedges Rashidas? and uh, Rashidas, yes. Okay. And while Dean does have really big eyes, Hippo's there on the table. There is actually some pretty easy counterplay against Hippo. Mm -hmm. Hippo trashes the first encountered ice that you broke all the subroutines. Right. Uh, and if you, or not, sorry, the wording, I forget exactly what the technical wording is, but the idea is if you have an unresed ice in front of your DNA tracker, mm. DNA tracker will always be safe. Okay. It might get a bit weirder if he's moving things with the, the Mumbad grid, but if there's an unresed ice before, the yes, ice, it's because always it's not. Safe from yeah, Hippo. that's fair enough. And I think we got install single, which, if it, that's anything, that's an easy mark two. Mm -hmm. And an easy mark two is a hell of an agenda. Right. Uh, if he scores that, Dean is heavily favored here because yeah. all centrals are iced. Eric is only partially set up. There's a new sound. There's that hound. That current matters. There's actually a play here that Eric could do. It feels bad. Uh, but in theory, Eric could, if he's pretty sure there's a Nisei in that remote, he could slam down his current. Mm. Just so that if he scores the Nisei, there's no current on the table, and then HQ seems open. At that point, though, he can install, install agendas from hand with Minty Makunda, but sometimes like getting rid of currents is worth it. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's already Dean's turn. Chrisium grid in hand. Installing That's good. It. Okay. That's what R&D looks like. Yeah. And we're just taking IPO. Apparently, the agenda is so safe with only four credits. The David does help, but mm -hmm. just four credits, right? I don't even know. Do you need that Chrisium anywhere? Not at this Not sure. point, right? I don't, yeah. I don't think it does anything. Yeah. And we got zero up. That engine's going to go every turn. That's like, what, a deuce is wild mm -hmm. for free? Mm -hmm. That's something. Um, 
Oh, and man, the zeros. I don't know. Eric's yeah. deck, really, I've seen it succeed in a lot of cases, but it relies so much on getting good, cheap accesses. Right. You get mining accidents, you get data suckers, you get your breakers. Uh, yeah. And this is and the, the one sort of deck that can keep you out. For and sure. There's that Nise. Clearly, employee strike. Okay, so now the new sound is off. That's the best thing Eric has going for him. Yeah. Uh, can install an ice from hand. Doesn't look like he has any. Actually, that HQ run right now yeah, is yeah. so it's good. It's actually very fruitful. Well, I mean, there's a one in three Nisei. The other is a trashable for free, and if I'm not mistaken, also the current is in there, yeah, or it's a preemptive. Yeah, it's Either of those, scarcity, those yeah, get trashed for free. Very familiar cards. Uh, okay. I really hope he goes in. Also, totally worth noting, Yusuf has a two MU card. His MU is full, mm. and he's going R and D. Kakugo. Kakugo, he can break that for one for free with the use of counter, gets it back immediately. Bang, he's not, takes a net. If he reses the Chrisium, he's neither going to get Yusuf or Data Sucker. Actually, if you trash that, you don't have to trash. Oh, oh it depends. It depends on Hippo. Uh, we, Hippo says one pass or one break all subs. Could you pull up Hippo for us? Is that possible? Maybe he doesn't have to take the damage there. Hippo says the first time you break all sub routines, so he doesn't have to pass it, so I don't think he should yeah. have took that damage, if I'm not mistaken, because that Maybe damage is on pass. So maybe that turntable mm -hmm. matters a lot. Again, we just said his MU is full. So yes. That yeah, that would have given him the one extra like MU. There's and the Yoga taking four. He doesn't have enough counters if he wants to trash it, so it looks like he's going to take his whole hand. Yep. You can also leave it there, draw up, and return, mm -hmm. considering yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, ice HQ, there. Yeah, I mean, but... Um, you have to play around Mati, maybe. This could be a huge swing turn, right? Like, he runs R&D, runs HQ, gets five. Right. A lot of things have to happen correctly for that to happen, or for that to be fruitful, but... Yeah. Uh, looks like Dean is running off, maybe asking right. someone, calling a judge. Uh, it looked like click one, um, zero. Yeah. Click two, uh, check R&D. Yeah, I think you only took two. Chat, yeah. if you can figure out, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we're allowed to use chat rulings. I think FG actually put their foot yeah, down yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just put yeah. their foot down about no, no talking in chat. Oh, uh, yeah, so was that an uh, X-Wing controversy or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. It was an X-Wing Nationals. It's Canadian Nationals too, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. In fact, might ago. have been shown on this very channel. Yeah. Uh. Welcome, if you're not familiar, by the way, with VTTV. This is Victor and Travis in Toronto. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of different games. A lot of stuff, and yeah. their production values are quite high, as you're seeing right now, yeah. actually. Mm. There's a lot of, con not Conquest, excuse me, but there's a lot of Destiny, maybe? A lot of X-Wing. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of X-Wing. Uh, the Star Wars properties just remain pretty yeah. popular. So, um... Victor is going over to the table to adjudicate. Yeah, uh, so we'll get probably a pause of time, at least outside of the, the overlay, and we'll yep. figure this out. Um, one really cool thing, you're seeing there's a lot of ice actually in this. <laughs> I'm going to call Eric George's phone about the judge call. Um, there's a lot of ice in uh, this deck, actually, that has tags. Yeah. And if scarcity is up, and if Eric doesn't have the money or doesn't have the resources, I think there's one resource he really wants to play. Uh, he can just go tag me. Like, the new sound is blank. True. Half of Surveyor is blank. True. Um, I don't know, like, uh, Eric's resources seem pretty, um, transitive. They're only on the board for a little bit as he, like, clears yeah. them off. So, yeah, that is a viable option for him here. I think he would love to see that, uh, virus breeding ground get that, uh, that virus counter once per turn. Oh, ah, yeah. Free. Oh, hey, we can hear him. So they're sorting it out right now. Uh, Mikhail has the microphone on, or the headset on, so he can, he can listen in a bit what's going on. Looks like they just don't have any clicks. Yeah. So Sung Ho is at the table, currently figuring out what's happening. Whenever they're gonna find out that that hippo shouldn't have taken damage. Uh huh. So he's trying to. Oh yeah, it's it's very uh, important because he's considering whether. Dean can actually, or sorry, uh, Eric can actually steal the Obokata protocol. Oh, uh, just on the hippo ruling? Yeah. Oh, because, yeah, the hippo put him at three. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, that actually mattered more than we could have thought. That's mm -hmm. very important that we figure out whether mm -hmm. that does damage or not. I don't think it does. Oh, um, yep. This is click two. They, they've already established that. Okay. Um, so they're giving him the card back in his hand that he lost? He lost the turntable, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to lose it anyways if he steals the Obakata, but at least he can steal it. Right. Also, we got to remember, I don't know, they might forget to access that Chrysium grid. I don't think it's going to matter that much, but he should yeah. know what that is. 
Uh, so, uh, is this click three? It looks like it. Sure, gamble. Did he gamble first? He has a lot of money. Yeah, he does have a lot of money now. I think he might have gambled first. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, sorry, Sungo's coming over right now. We're going to figure out what's going on. Sure. What's up, Sungo? So I'm on the impression they're on their click three. Is that correct? Uh, I feel like Eric's turn was zero run. Was there a gamble prior to that? I don't know. I'm, I'm coming with no knowledge. Here. Okay, so, so I if... Feel if like what they're saying is they did sure gamble. Yes, zero. <coughs> zero. Yeah. Run R and D. Then run R and D. Yes. Use hippo. Trash Kakugo. For what it's worth, yes. this is a totally separate problem. But Kakugo shouldn't do damage when he trashes with hippo. Yes. Okay. So That's fixed. Or have they? Which card did they lose? He off lost the turn table. Turn table. Okay. Yep. Three. Looks like that's click three. Yep. Yeah, so we missed the sure gamble earlier. So Eric's turn was sure gamble zero run R and D. Time extension has been awarded four minutes. Uh, do we rewind the timer? Uh, if only I knew. <laughs> uh, no, they're still working on it. Mm. All right, so they're gonna rewire. Yeah, Sungo, so. Sungo tries really hard to make sure. Uh, yeah. The game can return to the playable state. There that's the Chrysium. Yep. Oh, we can rewind. Okay, so it's click three. It's uh, is is it liberated or is it sure gamble? He took four. He took four. He did yeah, it was a gamble. Okay. So it's click three. All right, cool. Yeah, we have a we have a VOD we can watch. All right, there we are. Chrysium off the top, not being res. If you res that, you actually deny use of counters and data sucker counters. I think they require a successful run. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some value to that. Uh, you can trash the Chrysium for free though. Yeah. I think we just sorted it out. All right, so the game can continue. That Chrysium stays there. Yeah. And I think the Obo he stole? Looks like it. It's in his square area right now. How many cards do you have in his hand? Just uh, one? It looks like the solo dolo, yeah. Okay. I was trying to figure out what to do with his quick four. Oh! Three in hand. Go find it. Eric, my dude, don't you know there's no snares in this deck? <laughs> you can go in there. You can take that tag. Yeah, you right now it's, it's uh, pretty much risk-free. So. I think he hasn't used his freedom ability, and you really want to use that once per turn. There yeah. is a small risk. Like, there's very narrow. Actually, I don't think there's any card that will kill him besides, uh, like, Cortex Lock. Well, not Cortex Lock, because he's fine, but, like, maybe yeah. Neural Katana. Maybe Neural Katana. Yakura? Sure. Yeah, of uh, MT no, McQuendu. Yeah, 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 it wouldn't be, actually. I think That's it's true. just Neural that only kills him. Yeah. Hey, Maven, how's it going? That's me. This is Andre. How are you doing? Thanks for dropping by. Okay. What an SSO, where did that come yeah, from? Yeah, he just took it off the top of the deck. So now that was underneath the Obokata? Yeah, looks like oh it. Oh my I know, god, right? he could've, Eric could have won that turn. Oh my. Uh, no, he didn't have enough clicks to do that after this yeah. year. But yeah, oh, he's, he's pretty so close rough. here. So now this. All right, click one. And that's the strength here. So yep. Hippo's going to get zeroed. Yep. I'm going to draw two cards there. Get a credit. So that's an SSL. If Dean scores it, he's looking great. He's got the Nisei counter up. There's a Chrysium res. Single res the Chrysium. He has no ice in hand to over install there. That's I think one. he would if he could. Maybe yeah. he keeps it for the remote. Yeah. And Axis, that looks like an ice. We're going to get a Data Sucker counter to trash that for... for well, that's an no. Anansi. That's a lot. Of, that's that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot of viruses. He can't, he can't spend that many viruses. Apparently oh, he has eight oh. viruses. Oh, here we oh, are. No, it's the Chrysium. It's Chrysium. It's a Chrysium. Okay. Yeah. There we are. Uh, yeah, he can't conceivably... Even no card will do it right now, right? Like no, in fact, doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's definitely going to score this SSL. But like, this is the same kind of play that you saw back, maybe even a year ago mm -hmm. here in Toronto. We saw a lot of Ag Confusion. Dean was playing Ag Confusion, but it's right. the same idea. It's like score that Nisei, get two pieces of good ice on the remote, right? Just jam the agenda. Sure. Yeah, there's just so much um, deflection capability it's in Jintaki these days. Like uh, nobody has the money to run that. No. Two times on a turn. Right. And that SSL there is going to get him. All right. So Dean is already credits. up five to three. And we know he also didn't top. He just did top deck the Anansi. So yeah. like that was the one turn that he could have ran HQ without mm -hmm. any sort of punishment. Yep. He's fine on cash right now. I thought uh, Rich draws five. Yeah, that's very nice. Drawing five. Giving us a little bit more to work with here. 
Now he isn't on indexing. He's on no power run abilities. Uh, yeah. Well, that's uh, a maker's eye, yeah. Is that a maker's eye? It is indeed. Okay. He also has a leg work, I think. The maker's eye is the one perfect shot. He <laughs> can get through the nonce with the three David counters. He knows yeah. that. Yeah. But only seeing three cards, he could also get the Nisei token pulled right there because he has another Nisei in hand. I think he, if like Dean doesn't lose this turn, he wins next turn. I think so, yeah. Laundry. On to R&D. Yeah. I don't think you can afford to pay eight for the Nancy right now when you need to still protect your remote server. Yep. That's a single access. Accessing one. What is it? And he's on such thin ice Nothing now. pertinent. That's that a is Chiyashi. a Chiyashi. That's 12 hours counters of trash. Uh, yep, nope. Like, oh man, if he goes to HQ and gets other Nisei, he can swap Nisei counters? Uh, that would be uh, incredibly fruitful for him. I, I don't know. I think Dean... Is not worried about that too much. He's got what three cards in hand right now? Yeah, yeah. And he, Eric has been seeing the top card of R and D for the last couple yep. of turns. That so this is turns people off of this is two. his last click. He's gonna makers in, pop in for that a makers. A Dean, makers. Dean allows it. Let's see what's up. He definitely allowed that. Yep. Uh, it depends on how many cards in hand. He can see Lobakata. That's kind of rough. Yeah, that would be pretty bad for him. But, but like, uh, even if he gets an agenda here, he just jams it to the remote. Yeah. Next turn, he's fine. So three accesses. Eric yeah. knows that one. Six seconds. Second. Take that. Oh, that's oh, a lot no. of entanglement. Oh, we have ourselves a yeah, game here, huge. ladies and gentlemen. Game's back on. Is yep. he turntabling? He's not turntabling? Yep. Oh, there we go. Of course. Yeah. Before looking Super at the next one. Super important. That's great. This is such a big momentum shift. The remote is falling apart. Yeah. That's a DNA tracker on the top. So that Chiyashi, he can't really res. So it's not a threat in HQ. He knows that Nancy's in there, and there's still a Nisi in HQ. Yeah. We do have suddenly yeah. a game. Uh huh. So a uh, quick sniff by Eric, finding uh, Dean getting a little agenda flooded here, and having most of the tools necessary to deal with that under most circumstances, but not at that moment. Does he? He does. He does it. All right. And the I think game even will, the that. Game will be settled. Oh, he did install single. I don't know what his last click is. There's a chance you want to do double there, just so they think it's Obakata. They play around it a certain way, just so they think it might be an NGO front. Yeah. Yeah, Single kind of means it's cool consideration for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's going to be the Nisei threat in any way. What is he using the last click for? I guess credit. I think he would want Maxwell James here if he could. It looks like he's going to draw once with zero. Hits another five. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Eric is digging deep. Eric can do this. Yeah. Stim hacks in the deck. I think there's two. Might be wrong. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't look. Uh, he doesn't look like he has any of that stuff in hand right now. You chose that remote. You run it twice. Uh, yep. Maybe you only have to run it once now. And he knows. He at the end of the day, he has to hit that Chiyashi, which he can't break with David. I think he's actually just shy tokens. Oh, he even has enough virus tokens. I think to break Chiyashi with Yusuf. Oh. I think it's six. Six. Oh right, because yeah, you just pop him off, and then it's like uh, three for strength, three subs. I might be wrong. Chiyashi might actually be eight strength. Chiyashi's eight. Okay, no. Nope. Yep. So he can break the end of the run, take four to the face, mm -hmm. not the end of the world. Um, and I don't know what heat breakers he has access to. I'm assuming with only like two, three, he has like four cards left in his stack. That yeah. might be everything. Wow. It, it took him in, It took him his all, buddy. It looks like he might actually have a chance. Uh, however, Dean is poised to win next turn. If Eric yeah, well, yeah. Turn, yeah. he doesn't take this, if he doesn't somehow take away... 11 credits, yeah, Dean's mm -hmm. going to have it. It looks like he's seeing R&D. He knows what this is. This is a DNA tracker off the top. I don't know why you're running this. Maybe he needs the virus counters. Maybe he, he's done the yeah. math and he's like, if you see Chiyashi, I need 8. Which is, yeah, I guess that's enough for most of it. Single. Very pragmatic. Definitely the action of a practiced player with this virus build. DNA off top. All right, and it's now time for the Goy run, I think. I guess Here we go. Here we go, jamming it. This is his last, I believe. Shit. So that's the thing is if like if it's the last and Stim. Stim hack, if he hits the sandstorm, which I think he's gonna hit right here, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You never do that last. Oh uh, no. That can't be right. He can use a David on this actually. It is five strength. Oh yeah, pop it. Uh, and then I guess have two counters left over for anything that might yeah. really You don't need to break DNA, you can take no? one to fat one True. to faced. Helios, how's it going? I made it the last minute. Thanks for dropping by, huh? Oh he's not breaking he lets it, it fire. DNA tracker, or sorry, that puts him on the new center on HQ. Doesn't have an end to run. The tag really doesn't matter. You get an access here for free. Nine credits left to spend on that stim hack. You have to David that, my friend. Oh, man. Oh, even if he takes all his money, he can still score, right? Oh, uh, yeah, Eric I'm realizing his mistake. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely want to David that. It looks like he's going to access HQ, and that's probably the game right yep. there. There's no way he wins. Yeah, there's no way he wins. Uh, HQ is dry. 
Yeah, David's actually a really good answer to that. Ice. Yes. But you see, like, imagining an Anise counter has to deal with that sandstorm, has to run the remote twice. Mm -hmm. Insane. And at that point, Dean had the top position, but quickly resting it back. Eric just not threatening when he needs to. Dean jamming when he had to. And getting this going. Yeah. What's going on here? The helpful hand of Sungho in the yeah. frame. I believe that's Sungho. Mm. Single axis on HQ, that's a good game. Dean, you gonna see that? You can trash that for free if you want. Yeah. I don't think there's any clicks left, so why not? Man, it looks like he did forget about David. That or, yep, that's that. And Dean's gonna take game one. Hey. Ah, uh, GG. That's a Nisei counter. Yeah. So this is only game one of the top f top eight. So it's a double yeah. elimination. So nobody here is out. It's gonna put Dean at, I think, top table, top table. Uh, semis? Semis? Yeah, maybe not even. That is a Mumbat City grid uh, mm -hmm. for asking in chat. That is a really good card. It lets you have to interact with that. In theory, you could even make him hit that a um, couple times. Sandstorm, uh, Sandstorm three times. Yeah. Which would be hilarious. Yeah. I think you see some really cool plays with this deck. Now, this deck is only running one Thimble Rig, but sometimes you put your like your best dice on the outside, mm -hmm. and then you it's weak to Hippo, sure, but then you can make them interact with it three, yeah. four times. MT seems very strong. It just allows Jinteki to save clicks on yeah. disinstalling stuff. Um, it's the threat, yeah, right? Especially just being able to build a glacier without having to spend the additional credits to install stack costs. layer on layer. Yeah. And these decks run three surveyors, getting those install costs down, that's oh, probably more value than Polina. Right. And like these games are not going long. Like a lot of times no. you saw classic Jinteki Glacier games would go to right, turn 20. Right, exactly. Once you have that Nisei up, then you can just rush and your forces the runner to really just play on your terms. Otherwise, two or three turns later, the game is over. The game is over. I'd be interested to talk to Eric what happened with that David, whether or not he uh, wanted to save it, thought it was necessary for something else. Mm -hmm. But I think he actually could have got it.